First off, I'd just like to say thank you so much for each and every one of you who have came today. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you being here tonight to celebrate Nicholas and I's special day. There really is nothing like this feeling right here, right now, surrounded by all the people that we love the most. Nicholas and Andrea, in the name of the Church Universal, on behalf of your family, your friends, I welcome you here. You are here to bear solemn witness for your love for each other. Your love is a sign for us of God's ever faithful and loyal love for the world. And we, the people of God, thank you for that generous response to the awesome call of love and for sharing that response with all of us here. Let us now celebrate this love together. So it was love at first sight, a best friend, someone who shares the same humor, someone to grow old with. This is a story of Nicholas and me. So Nicholas was basically the David Beckham of children. I mean, every label wanted him, preschoolers wanted to be him. I was so inspired by Nicholas, I even attempted to break into the modeling industry myself. And while people were staring at Nicholas on billboards, I was able to land an extra in a Mexican cereal commercial with 843 other kids. So it's pretty safe to say that we were both very successful. Nicholas and I share this bond together throughout our life. I don't need to speak to him every single day to know that he is there for me whenever I need him, and I really hope he feels the same way. It is with great love, joy, and pride that I stand here today with our beautiful daughter, Andrea, to wish our beautiful daughter, Andrea, a blessed life full of happiness, joy, and fulfillment. Andrea is a sunshine to all that know her. She is beautiful on the inside and outside. Andrea always puts everyone before herself. She's kind, thoughtful, considerate, spiritual, and intelligent. I have learned so much about life from her. We never knew Nick before our sister dated him, so we can't tell you a lot of embarrassing stories about him. But we can say he's absolutely perfect for Ange. Although we feel that Nick has been a part of our family for a while now, we are happy to officially welcome him as our brother. I've had the privilege of knowing Ange for 26 years. Since our parents were good friends, there were no doubts in their minds that we would become fast friends as well. Through elementary school, we would have many sleepovers, MSN chats, check hall dances, family functions, and parties with the friend group. At the beginning of grade 9, we knew we had became best friends when we arrived at LK in our matching campus crew tracksuits. Nicholas and Andrea, it is an honor to stand up here today, and we couldn't be happier for you two. Andrea, you look absolutely stunning, as always, today. We love you. My dear friends, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister, myself, and this community, your family, your friends, the living church. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage and mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Yeah, they were all yellow. Andrea, from the day we met, I knew something was different. You're the most genuine person I know, and I cannot wait to start this next chapter of our lives. I couldn't sleep last night, not because I was nervous, but because I was excited. I'm sure you're getting ready, thinking about how today is going to play out. I know it will be perfect. You are perfect, and together we are perfect. You're going to be the most beautiful bride, and today is the day we have been dreaming about for our whole lives. I love you so much, and I cannot wait for you to become Mrs. Lotsey. See you at the altar. Love always and unconditionally, Nikki Boy. Dad, you're not only my father, you're my best friend. You're willing to do anything for your family, and have always taught me that family comes first. You have showed me to never be afraid to say I love you, and to always kiss your parents goodnight. Checking the oil in my truck, making my lunch for school, or putting new line in the fishing rod. <laughs> Always you show that you love me without telling me. 
I'll never forget the good times we've had, and I can't wait to cherish the moments to come in the future. Not telling you about my dress has been the hardest secret because I just want to share it with you. And somehow you always care. I'm so excited to see you at the office today. I love you so much. Phyllis and Andrea, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and His Church? Since it's your intention to enter into marriage, join your hands to declare your consent before God and His Church. I, Nicholas, take you, Andrea, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Andrea, take you, Nicholas, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessing. What God has joined, no one must divide. Amen. Andrea, you look absolutely beautiful. Honestly, this day has been perfect and so have you. I love you so much. You're so generous, you're caring and selfless. It's amazing to see the woman you've become and you continue to grow. I'm so proud to call you my wife. My bridesmaids, girls, you guys are amazing. You look absolutely stunning. I really can't thank you enough for your generosity throughout planning the wedding. We have had so much fun over this year, especially during our hilarious weekend in Blue Mountain, which may or may not have included doing cartwheels in the bar. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a more supportive, beautiful, and hilarious group of girls standing beside me on this day. Hard to believe my little princess is married. Look how amazing, remarkable she looks. But if I hear one more time she looks just like you, I'm gonna. She's such a wonderful daughter. And as a little kid, every time I come home from work, she'd just run and jump in my arms, give me a big hug, and ask me how my day was. And it was just so special. And. You know that if you ever need anything in life, you know you can call. Nick, same thing now. We're lucky to have what we call now four amazing kids, and we love you very much. Congratulations. Mom, thank you for being such a great mother to us four kids. You have shown me that you can do anything you set your mind to. You have always wanted us kids to strive for the best, and to be the best we can be. Now with all of us kids growing up, you continue to teach us lessons. You truly practice what you preach and continue to show your kids that you don't give up and you continue to push forward no matter what's in your way.
Next, I'd like to formally welcome Nick into our family, the Patterson family. Um, he's been around quite a while, and he's been part of the family as far as I'm concerned for a long, long time. He's such a polite guy. You know he's from the heart. We really appreciate every time you come down. And as I always said, he treated Andrew with respect. And any father that has to give up his daughter, that's the one thing you want to make sure is that they treat your daughter with respect. And Nick has always been just a good job. Dad, just being your daughter puts the biggest smile on my face. All I can say is that you and I both know that we truly have the strongest daddy-daughter bond to exist. Somehow, you have this ability to turn any situation into a best-case scenario and know how to always focus on the positive. Your many years of pep talks have got me through so many things in life, taught me to be the best version of myself, and to never put a limit on my dreams. Thank you for being the best daddy any girl could ever ask for. And then they crumble back to death. We spin these the two of them have become this dynamic duo. I am truly proud of them both. Andrea is the perfect counterpart to Nicholas. I believe they bring the best out in each other. They support one another and continue to take risks and put themselves out there in positions that most people would not. And I am just so proud to be standing here today as your best man. And I know that you will always be here for me. I will always be here for you and Andrea as you guys start this new chapter because it's going to be the best one yet. Watching my wife walk down the aisle today, I felt like I was going to burst with feelings of love. I burst with tears instead. Even after seven years of dating, that feeling is here to stay, and I can attest that our love grows stronger every day. Andrea, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Nicholas, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I truly feel like the luckiest girl in the world right here, standing beside you as your wife. You truly bring out the best in me, mainly because I want to be the best version of myself for you. Together, we make the best team. We have big dreams and big goals for our life, and I know that the only way to achieve them is together, side by side. I love you so much, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. For the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas and Andrea Lotze. You have to have friends and family who will support and guide you. Andrea and Nicholas have both of those in abundance. And most of them are here today to show their love and support and celebrate together. Andrea, you're my everything. There's nothing better than the nights we stay in, cooking dinner, dancing around the house, and laughing about the dumbest things. Those are the nights I'll never forget. We are truly soulmates. And I can't wait to grow old together and continue making memories. We are so compatible and make such a great team. Thank you for loving me unconditionally and helping me grow as a person. I love you. Love like there is no tomorrow, and if tomorrow comes, love again. Lean on each other's strengths, forgive each other's weaknesses. And any reason is a good reason, and any time is a good time to say, I love you. Andrew and Nicholas, when times get tough, remember this day. Remember the promises made and the vows exchanged. The love you found in each other will see you through.